This is He Knows His Sport, bringing you that heat and that fire. All right, I want to talk about the Zab Judas situation. Usually, you know, when I talk about sports and stuff like that, sometimes I get theatrical and sometimes I get, you know, in truth-telling fashion or I want to keep the foot on the neck or I want to do something. But in this video, it's going to be none of that. Zab Judah, I hope and I pray, you know what I'm saying, that your recovery can continue to speed up and that everything can work out for you because at the end of the day boxing is a grueling sport and things like this can happen you know one punch or a litany of punches in this case in this fight versus Cletus Eldon these types of fighters and these types of fights it could just takes one fight for a fighter to you know go down we heard that you know he suffered brain damage from this tko loss and it's just sad you know because at the end of the day the damage is not something that you know we take lightly you know as fans we love the sport of boxing the sweet science because it's a fun sport you know but reality sinks in when these types of things happen when a fighter go down because at the end of the day when they go down you don't know if them getting hit by that shot because it's not us that's in that square circle it's them if that shot is going to be their last shot if they're not going to get up or if they're going to be um what i would say unresponsive or they would be in a coma or something like that you just don't know i mean just look at adonis stevenson you know it took him weeks before he was able to turn things around so you know my condolences go out to zab judah and his family and again my heart my prayers go out to you guys and i just hope that everything can continue to recover and rebound itself but with me saying all of that i say this to say this zab judah i hope this is your last fight man i really i really hope that you know because i don't want this sport to retire you i hope that you can retire on your own free accord because boxing is not an easy sport you know and some fighters they have the luxury of a Floyd Mayweather to basically dictate you know and make decisions that's going to be beneficial to them or Andre Ward so that they can have their faculties together and some fighters are not that fortunate but at the same time you know this is a young man's sport and Zab Judah, I know that, you know, you're starting to get up there in age. And I, I just don't want to see you continue to fight fights because, you know, I know you got that that fire in you as a fighter to want to keep fighting. But we all have to come to that conclusion that Father Tom is undefeated for a reason. Father Tom waits for no one. And through age and attrition, all of us as human beings, especially you as a fighter, you're going to get older. You're going to get slower. And you're going to lose some steps. There are just no two ways around that. Because time, again, is undefeated. So, Zab Judah, my heart and prayer goes out to you, man. And I hope you can bounce back. I just hope to see that, you know, you can be a TV analyst, you know, breaking down the sweet science to us. Or being in some form or some fashion in boxing to where you still get that competitive flair. But you don't have to necessarily be in the square circle. That's what that's all I want for you, man. That's all I want. You know, no criticism here. You know what I'm saying? No beating you down, you know, why you're down. None of that stuff. It's just to hope and pray that, you know, you could just focus on other elements of the sweet science. It's clear that you love your the sport that you've been fighting, you know, shedding blood, sweat, and tears for for many years. But I don't want to see it. And I know a lot of your other fans don't want to see you go down like that. We don't want to see you continuously fighting and then you, you know, end up in a worse predicament than what you already are in right now. So my condolences go out to you. You've given us a lot of fights that we as fight fans can enjoy. And I just hope that you can turn things around and have a speedy recovery. So this is He Knows the Sport. Checking out.